Hey guys, Thousand Grit. I'm back. It's been uh, three months now since I posted a video. I can't believe that. Time flies, I guess. Um, but I think I'd figure it out by now. But <clears throat> I keep recording the video wrong and it's showing in uh, like a portrait mode instead of landscape. Well, that's what I get for using an iPhone. Anyway, new knife. CRKT's Canonian Design Ripple. This is totally a ball bearing knife. And I don't know why, but I've got been on a big kick lately for ball bearing knives. And this is my latest one. This is totally not the video I was doing next on the channel, but you know what? Whatever. And uh, so let's take a look at it. Here it is. Aluminum scales, uh, the 8CR 14MOV for the blade, some nice little back spa or spacers there, pocket clip, they really like, they really like the holes here, the pocket clip and the scales, not sure why, but feels pretty good uh, in the hand. It's definitely a whole lot smaller than I thought it was. But then again, I don't ever look at the specs when I buy something. I just like, oh, that looks pretty. I'm going to buy it. But anyway, here's the, uh, let's take a look at the size here. It's a little under four. Open it up. Let's put it in the camera. Just under seven. So, pretty small knife. Uh, but like I said, this is a bearing knife. So they use ball bearings. There's no um, no spring. Uh, and for ball bearing, flips pretty good. But uh, so far it's been decent. Um, if you're not sure what a ball bearing knife is, they put uh, both sides here where they put the, the little spacers and washers and they have little ball bearings on both sides. So you can flip it open without any spring uh, assisted. But this one started to have a lot of problems with. I've only owned this for about three weeks. But I've had to take it apart once because the, the bearing bearings started squealing when you close it. They don't do it now, but um, they started squealing and you couldn't flip it open anymore. It's like the bearings dried up or something and it just wouldn't work. Um, then the second problem I've had, about a week after I bought it and cleaned it and redid the bearings, I had to oil it again. So it seems like it really wants to be oiled a lot uh, to make it operate smooth. It's starting to slow down again. I don't know. There's really no reference in the video to show you that it's slowing down, but Compared to after I oil it, it's definitely, uh, seems like it's gumming up a little bit or something. So, um, just something to keep in mind if you buy it. Probably doesn't help that the first like, week I owned it, I just non stop flipping it. So, uh, but that's, uh, you know, kind of comes with new knives. So, CRKT, K. Is that 410 KXP? Definitely a little bit smaller knife than I'm used to. Focus. Like, here's another bearing knife that I have, but this one is a lot bigger. Alright, so we get back into it. Uh, the fit and finish on this is pretty good. Uh, everything lines up. Nice little uh, spacers there chipping on it everything lines up the blade there has a nice polish on the back and the little uh, chipping grooves pretty much line up the pocket clip here the chipping on that kind of pretty much lines up with that so looks pretty good I will say the pocket clip is pretty hard on the pants uh, especially jeans rips it up pretty good but not bad otherwise uh, lock up uh, you don't even have to do it 
perfect. This locks right in there, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's definitely, I think it's going to need to get oiled again here to finish that up. The edge that came with it, pretty decent. Um, like I said, it was the, uh, I don't know, what was it, the 14 MOB for the steel. So nothing spectacular, but pretty decent. Uh, so another nice design by Ken Onion. Pretty classic, uh, classic design with the blade and the handle there. So pretty decent, especially if it's something you're going to carry around. Um, I know there's a lot of places that have laws about the length and stuff like that, but uh, you know it's not. Uh, just under three inches for the blade there it looks like I mean it's no monster like this thing is uh, another ball bearing clipper I'll look at that some other time but yeah that's another pretty massive ball bearing clipper but yeah all in all 35 bucks I think is what I paid for it not too bad um, I'm gonna email the CRKT and uh, Ask him what's up with the ball bearing on it, because I've had to oil, like I said, kind of take it apart and oil it a couple times now, which is, and it's starting to get to that point again where I'm going to need to do that, because you really got to push down on it. And this ball bearing is more of a push, you just push. Um, you don't, you know, you don't pull down like that, because you kind of rake your finger across. Like this one isn't a push button. This one you just kind of give her a flip down. This one's more of a push button. So, yeah, if you're interested in a ball bearing knife, I mean, this would be a pretty good starter knife. It's pretty small uh, and really light um, compared to a lot of knives I have. But then again, uh, I think that's the. The whole intent of the knife is to be uh, a nice uh, classy design, uh, small, lightweight, and uh, carrying it in your, in, like if you wear dress clothes or something, definitely wouldn't be a problem with this knife because it, uh, I mean it looks pretty good too, so. There we go. You guys have any questions, just let me know. Put them in the comments. Uh, like if you don't like the video then don't like it so I'll go ahead and uh, be quiet for a few seconds here and just gonna let you look at the knife <laughs> 